due to COVID-19, we filmed at our store's location. We are continuing to pray for our country to heal. Please stay safe. We do apologize for the wind. We hope you enjoy the tour of our second home. Hi, I'm Dwayne. The best of us, the Floros. Just want to take some time and let you uh, tour through our Flagstaff camper that we just love. I'm going to be doing the outside. Dina will take some time and show you some personal touches she has done on the inside. So stay with us and listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd really like to encourage you to do so. Also, if you would, give us a thumbs up on the video. We look at that as well as your comments. Uh, those help us and help others. So be sure and leave us a comment. And if you'd like to know when our next video is coming out, just push the bell and it'll let you know when our next video is available. So enjoy the video and stay with us. Let me start on the entry side of our camper. And one of the great things that I really like about this particular unit is we went ahead and bought the power retractable levels on all four corners of our unit. Sure makes the process of putting them up and down much easier. One of the things that I really like is all the storage that our Flagstaff provides. On each side, I can independently store more than I'll ever need to store. As you can see here on the ground, I have my chest that fits conveniently through this opening. I can get a couple of these inside with all of our essentials when we first get to the campground, some backup equipment like extra uh, extension cords, uh, ground picks, whatever it might be, I can store in the secondary. But in this primary one, I'm able to put down some extra jack support and things that I can get to quickly and get them back into the trailer quickly as well. Here's an important point to remember. When you're looking to get something to fit, make sure it goes through the opening. <laughs> you don't want to get something that's too big and then you're in a real problem. But as you can see, this is a pretty good size unit. And it easily fits inside. And I can put it back. And I've got another unit just like that that fits very conveniently inside here. And it's a lot easier than digging through, trying to remember where something's at when it's shifted around during travel. This keeps everything together and makes so much easier setting up and tearing down. I also love the fact of these with magnetic catch so that the door holds up and stays in place and it's an easy close and slam shut for security. We have on the outside extra plug-ins, even a hookup for our cable, a mount for our TV, and as you can see across the whole length of this portion of our unit uh, is our awning. And because we're still in storage I can't show you how large that is, but it's more than sufficient for us to be able to sit outside and have meals, uh, entertain, and so forth. One of the additions that you may have seen already that we put onto our unit is our RV lock. We replaced the original lock with this, and you're able to code in your own personal code. And this is just so wonderful. You don't have to worry about having a key with you if you're going to the beach or going to the pool. Uh, you can lock your unit, you can unlock your unit very, very easily right here with the RV unit. We also put in the solid steps uh, on one of our prior videos. We demonstrated what those look like and how those work. But we love this for the stability it gives, not only as we go up and down the steps, but also to the trailer itself. This unit comes with the screen door 
uh, that you will really like if you're at the lake or at the beach or in the mountains. You're able to open the door and hear nature, hear the waves, whatever particular atmosphere you're in. Uh, it really does uh, serve its purpose well. On the back of our trailer, still on the entrance side, is one extra storage area and again has the magnetic catch so your door stays in place. As you can see, this is where we keep all of our hoses, all of our water gear hookups, extra antifreeze from previous years. Anything that's connected with the water, we keep here on this side of the trailer in this compartment. Something we added on that was not included were these little mesh screens. These mesh screens keep bugs, wasp, little varmints, critters from crawling inside of the unit. One of the major problems with uh, refrigerators is spiders can get in and build their nest and it can cause fires uh, because of the way the webbing goes around the, the propane feed and the electric feed inside of the unit. So for a minimal cost we were able to get these included in with our unit. As you can see we also have one back here on the hot water tank in order to keep those vents protected from debris or insects getting inside. The last compartment I want to show you on the entry side is here where all of our water systems, water pump, our antifreeze as you can see we still have antifreeze in our unit we've not dewinterized yet but it to take care of all of the water issues right here to the right you'll notice that's the back part of our hot water heater and we're able to um, heat the water up more than sufficiently to about six gallons of water for showers and so forth we're on the back side of the RV now and you can see we have all three of our uh, water hookups right here. The top one is when we come into a park and they have a water system supplied. We're able to tap in right at this location. When we are ready to winterize our unit we have a separate attachment whereby we can run the bypasses to bypass the hot water tank and we're able to winterize our entire unit right here. And then finally, for our black water tank. Um, in the days gone by, you would have to run a hose inside and run it down your, your toilet to do that. Now, they've put this on the back of many of newer model trailers. All the new RVs have this feature where you can simply hook up and it flushes your black water tank. Our ladder on the back of our unit enables us to get up on the roof. Now, some RVs are not able to hold the weight of an individual on the roof, but when they put them on, you know that that guarantees you can get up there and, and move around quite easily. In our storage area, we're parked a little close, so you can see our neighbor's uh, RV, but here's what the last one that I want to show you on this side of the unit. And this is the storage area where I keep all of my electrical supplies, uh, all my extra extension cords, because as you look right there, you will see the plug-in for the entire trailer if they have electric hookup. And so it's very convenient to have all of these features, all these resources right here. So if you notice my pattern, electric, water, our sewer, uh, Stinky slinky equipment is up in the front. I'll still show you that and on the other side are all the things we need to set up on our campground site The quicker you can get organized With what's where will keep you from backtracking over several areas and also searching we've done that already Where I've had one little thing I tried to find and and I just quickly put it in the first compartment I found and that was not a smart thing because in the long run takes twice as long to find that versus if you just simply simplify what goes into which compartment. And this unit again has plenty of space uh, to do that kind of organization. This is where I keep uh, stinky slinky supplies. Now our actual tube is in the rear bumper but here I have gloves, I have the different connection points, I have all the things that uh, can help 
get us set up because our drains are on this side of the unit. And so I want to keep all of this as convenient to that as possible. Another thing we picked up recently that I found is very handy is the sewer saddle bags. We picked this up at the Forest River annual get together and the gentleman that sold these, a portion of his sales goes to help veterans. And it's just simply a couple of really nice bags with some rocks inside and you say, what in the world do you do with this? Well, sometimes your connection point to the uh, sewer drain uh, can have a tendency to slip out. You simply take this bag and put it over top and it will hold it into place. It's simply a bag. If there's anything you need to be weighted down, this is a great tool for that. This is important information on located on the outside of your trailer. It lets you know about tires, loading, air pressure. It tells you about your unit and your weight and capacity. And an important thing to know is this number right up here tells you your dry weight. All of that must be taken into consideration to keep you from getting into trouble. And I know that it's real important to think about how much you can pull, but it's also vitally important to know how quickly can you stop. Because if you can't stop in time, it doesn't matter if you think you can pull the unit. You are now carrying a load behind you that's going to push you where you may not want to go. So this information is vital. And as Dean and I've talked about it, uh, because we're just weekend warriors. And as we do this, we come out to our unit every once in a while just to keep learning new things as we walk through it. We go, oh, okay, because we don't spend time in it every single day like full-timers do. So if you're just a weekend warrior or you just get away a few times during the year, don't let that be your only time with the experience of all that your unit can do. It's simply as I mentioned before, finding convenient storage areas so that they're categorized, not just scattered. And that will help you when you get to your campsite, when you get to your vacation spot, wherever it is you're planning to go, to maximize the time of enjoyment, which is the reason you went there to begin with, right? And so I hope that this has helped you learn from our experience as we travel down the road and our flag is to have Hi, I'm Dina, and Dwayne's already shown you the outside of our RV, and I'm going to show you the inside. So one of the favorite things of this RV is our kitchen. So we looked at different configurations, and I really fell in love with the way this kitchen was because it, it gave me room to cook. So what you can see, it's a double base of a sink. And what I really love is this faucet because it really is house quality. And you can, and most of the, the newer ones um, have this, but it really does help. So I have to have my coffee maker. And this is another uh, appliance that we purchased when we bought our RV. It's an ice maker and it makes ice so quickly. We also have a Berkey um, at home that we bring when we go camping, which sanitizes the water and so I don't use anything here as far as our ice machine. I th um, go through the Berkey and the Berkey sits right over here and so we have plenty of room for it because it's about this, about this tall, fits under this cabinet and I just put the ice in here within golly 15-20 minutes we have ice and I just keep making it and put it in the freezer until um, we need more ice. So it gives me plenty of room. I have a spice rack. My spices aren't down. The oven is just a typical oven, which um, the RVs have. But one thing a lot of people do not like to use their ovens because it burns their food. So I read somewhere is to put tiles under here. And usually people are putting the one block tiles when they travel it's breaking so what i did is on amazon they come in four of a pack and it fits perfectly and i'll put that in the description of um i think it was like 20 25 dollars and we can bake bread and it comes out perfectly but it's just a standard oven we've got three drawers we've got a little section here and we can have all of our just what what you need in there um, there's our tablecloth up here our cabinets this RV has tons of um, storage you will see a lot of our cabinets with nothing in it because we're part-time this is part of our Keurig there 
but and you can see where some of it was settling so one, one thing um, somebody suggested would get these little tension bars so when you're traveling all that stays up there so it doesn't fall out as soon as you open it up of course standard microwave there's more so we um bought four plates about four plastic plates with actually there's eight two different kinds there are toaster and um we also have these separation things that you can stack um your plates and cups and it gives you more room and i got this tip i forgot which i think it was keep your daydream when they first started rving um more as you can see there's more cabinet space in there and it goes way way back in there so i've got everything i need to cook now the thing i look love about this rv is our refrigerator it is an amazing refrigerator now there's only two of us so we have more than enough room so it's already been cleaned i it's still cool in there but i cleaned it um when we you know put it i put it to bed that's what i call it put it to bed so i left the door open to let it air out so i wouldn't have any mold um and hopefully you've done the same and here's our refrigerator and this is another thing how it's just great because things stay in there as we're traveling they've got little lips so um they did a great job job with this so Dwayne, um when we were looking through this rv before we bought it, he said have you seen the pantry I went pantry because i had not seen a lot of pantries and rvs look at this pantry tons of room so we went to container store we had um, in one of our other rvs we utilize these and so we just re uh use them in here and it fits perfectly and so uh the bread and everything goes in here there's plenty of room now the nice thing about this pantry look at this it has a light so now you've got to turn it on and off it's not an automatic which i'm sure some of the upper ends are automatic but you can see how much room so of course i keep our brooms in there so as you move around of course we have the standard table and chairs and we do our computer work so the first um one of our first trips we didn't even have an rv we stayed in a jellystone um, campground and we saw yogi and what's her name i think it's betty betty i think it is right yogi and betty betty and so we wanted to buy those um this couple just to you know represent our very first trip when we decided to start camping so they go with us but here's some of our storage you can see it's empty um, I've got a couple things. Um, that one's empty. Here, and this is where we keep our RV boost. And some people just um, attach it, so we just leave it up here. We also have Apple TV that we hook up, and then there's more. Now our television it pulls out. The only thing that we really don't like the new the 2020 of this floor plan we would love to have, but obviously we're not going to trade it in but because the seating arrangement is different and this it's got of course the fireplace and all the updates that everybody wants now but this tv does come out and turn so this was another upgrade that we got this did not come with our rv and so we wanted these are thomas Payne chairs and i know they're expensive it was worth every dime because Dwayne gets in there and he's gone he's asleep and even Duke, our dog, he's, he, I hardly ever get to sit here because Dwayne's here and Duke's here usually. So this is just an upgrade. All we did was we took those, um, count that couch out. It was so easy to disassemble. There was no bolts to this one. And these came, slid right in. It didn't take us 15 minutes to put it in. So, um, there's more cabinet space. There's very little, there's some stuff in here. We've got some, some more frying pans. And so I know when we did our RV show, Columbus 2020 RV show a lot of, we know a lot of the bathrooms were set up just like this didn't matter if it was a grand design or Flagstaff or Force River and so you'll see the pink stuff still on our shower and that's but it's a pretty large shower another upgrade we did in that cost was an oxygenator shower and so it saves you water especially if you're boondocking and this really keeps everything dry um, keep all of our medicines in the medicine cabinet these are all standard so this came um, already hooked up in the rv but the toilet pole the toilet roll receptacle and the towel rack was never they didn't put it up i'm not sure why so 
Um, we purchase these once we take shower. We hang our wet towels there. They dry. So if you want to see what was ingenious, Dwayne wants you to know what he did. He put it on the inside door. It really did work well. I mean, it's perfect. It's out of the way. And he just put it right in there. I think he, you, screw it, you screwed it in, didn't you? Um, of course, our trash can. All my cleaning supplies are down there, so I'm ready. So from here, the nice thing from here, from the bathroom, you can go into the bedroom on one door and then, or another door, and I'll show you. Another reason why we love this setup was we can close off our bedroom. Now, Dwayne is a late sleeper. He always has been ever since I've married him. We've been married for 40 years, and that's just the way he is set up. I get up early, um, and the older I'm getting, the earlier I'm getting. So it's nice for me to get up close the doors off, the dogs stay with him if they're with us, and I can go watch television. So this is one entrance into the bedroom. So it's the slider, and, and you go right in, and then the other side. So this is the other entrance into the bedroom. So of course that door, which you've seen already, um, and he, he installed the, um, where the, it just stays open. It's, it's magnet down there. We added the mirror, so because I have to have, I've got to be able to see myself after we get dressed. But um, it's got, what I love, I wish it had two of these on each side, but it doesn't. So here I put like pajamas, socks, and everything like that, or I can hang it. I bought this at the container store. We um, put extra clothes here, and it's all the way around. This is a queen size bed and I don't have the sheets on it because I just I threw the bedspread so you wouldn't see this, but we went and bought that gel mattress. Now this is a real bed, but still they're not mat, you know, the mattresses aren't your home quality. So we bought this, I think this is a three inch foam at Costco, makes a huge difference. This bed is very, very comfortable. Um, and you can walk around. So this bed, you can raise up and it's got the assist on it and it's got tons of room up there that we can utilize. It's got the drawers at the bottom as well. Um, it's got the drawers on the on the bottom that's that's more room. So as you can see this RV has room for so much. You could easily full time. So now I'm going to walk around the side. Now this side of the bed, of course you can see it doesn't have the wardrobe, but both of them have um, receptacles, but this one has a USB charging center so we can charge um, our iPhones and stuff at night. But this, boy, you can tell how tight it is. And it's got plenty of wardrobe space that we can hang up clothes. And now it's got other, we've got tons of, okay, it's got tons of space as you can see. I'm not sure what all. Um, extra sheets and hats and all kinds of things and then I put our towels in this one down here so it's just because it's closest to the bathroom so that's our bedroom and that's pretty much the inside of our RV hey thanks for joining us today and going on a tour with us through our Flagstaff we really love our RV and it works for us and so hopefully you picked up some good ideas if you are either in the market for one or as Dina has done personalize the inside of Iris so well uh, to work for us when we're out camping. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We would love to have you in our community. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and also, if you want to know when our next videos are coming out, hit the bell and that will tell you when it's going to come out. We like to put out videos every Friday. And so from the best of us, the Floros, to the best of you, Thanks for spending time with us, and we hope it is today the best for you as well. Bye. Okay. That's going to be in the end. <laughs>